In this video, I'm gonna share with you a very easy little strategy that you could use to completely glitch out a defense that has their auto flip set to on in their coaching adjustments. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if that interests you and you wanna get better on offense and on defense, be sure to subscribe. My channel posts videos every day that can help you become better on both sides of the ball. Now in this video, we're talking specifically about a tip that I think is super slept on. I'm not sure that many, many people know about it. And um, it's a really, it's something very subtle that you can do that will really um, glitch out your opponent's secondary and just kind of force them to have to essentially turn their auto flip off, uh, which is gonna cause them all other kinds of sorts of problems. So um, what I wanna do, it's, it's a five wide tip, it's out of our M2Y flex. You're gonna see here that I have auto flip set to on. And then I have all my all of my zone drops and everything right there. So I'm just going to come out in Mike Blitz 3. And I'm going to come back out in the empty Y flex. And what I want to show you here is if I come out in the empty Y flex and I have a receiver on that outside receiver position, and let's say I come out in this play deep dig, and I try to throw this vertical seam against the Mike, the Mike Blitz 3. So, you know, I am a big fan of the air raid. And so I'm going to try to run some air raid right here, right? So I'm just going to throw vertical seam. So it might look something essentially like this. You know, we do something like this with like a shallow cross, right? This would be an example of verticals, okay? So if I do this, I'm expecting that R1 should get open up the vertical seam. But because the deep inside third is right there, it's a really hard throw. And it's really basically just kind of a user catch. It's going to be really tricky to get that to work. But one little secret that you could do is going to completely open up the wide side of the field for you to be able to throw that route. It's honestly super simple. It's something that I should have known. Um, and, and it's really, really easy. All you have to do is simply sub in a running back on whichever side you want the safety to be on. So you'll see here, I want, I, I want the safety to be, or I want the deep third to be on the left side. So I'm going to sub in a safety to the opposite side of the field. So now what I'm going to do defensively is I'm going to come out and, and real quick, I just want to show you coaching adjustments, auto flip is set to on, auto alignment is set to default. Okay. So then I'm going to come back out, nickel three through five, Mike Blitz three. Now I'm going to come out in five wide verticals. And now what you'll see, if I show the play art, is now we have flipped their safeties for them. And what this is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to have an absolute field day in this right side vertical seam. You're going to see that there's nobody there, and this could basically be a one play touchdown every single time against the Mike Blitz three meta Mabel coverage. So really simple little tactic. Now I wanna show you um, what is happening. So basically what's happening is because I have um, two slot receivers to the left side of the field, the defense recognizes that and they tell their slot cornerback that you need to be on the other side to defend the slot receiver. Well, that flips the entire defense, and so now your cover three is out of position. So it doesn't matter if they play seam flats, hard flats, curl flats, quarter flats, it does not matter. We are going to be able to hit that vertical seam every single time. So one way that you basically can change this, right, is all you have to do is just sub in your running back to the opposite side. So you'll see here, uh, I'm going to sub back in a receiver on that side. And now over here, uh, I'm going to put my running back McCoy. And then I'm going to put, um, if I can find, uh, oh, Scotty Moore. Okay, good. He's there. So now I'm going to come back out in the same concept. Uh, and now what you're going to see, and this is really cool because it basically is going to just essentially just completely glitch out their coverage and allow you to attack different types of vertical. So now what you're going to see is now you get this. As you can see, the defense is now auto flipped to the other side because that's where more receivers are. So now on the left side of the field, I can attack the left side vertical seams. Super simple and super effective. But in my opinion, this is one simple little technique that you can use. And what you're going to force your opponent to have to do is he's going to start, he's honestly going to have to turn auto flip off to be able to do this and align everything to the wide side of the field. The problem with that is if we flip the play, um, it allows us to have a, lot, a significant advantage on the defense. So you'll see here that if we flip this vertical, uh, verticals play to this back side of the field, now I've got so much space that I can throw this vertical streak right up the seam and absolutely torch that cover three. So this is a way that you can really attack the vertical seams at a five wide that is going to force your opponent to have to respect 
the auto flip function. It's going to make them have to make an extra adjustment every single time, which is going to open up more dots for your offense. So, and if someone's not an experienced player and they don't understand what you're doing, they're not even going to know how to adjust this the majority of the game. Because the other cool part about this, and I really, I want to come back out and show this last little uh, piece of this tip is if they it's also really good for man-to-man -man coverage because what this is going to do is it's always going to get your the the running back basically um or whoever is in that position is always going to be misaligned so um for example let me just come back out in uh the play corners this time and as you can see here auto flip is on um and i'm going to come out on the defensive side of the ball in cover two man now look what happens now the line the middle linebacker is on the tight end and the outside linebacker is if you try to press he can't press because he's a linebacker it's just the way the defense is functioned so now what this allows you to do is you could put a smart right corner out on the field and absolutely obliterate that coverage if you put backfield master or something like that on your uh, on your player so what this does is it creates a ton of of just different types of mismatches that you can use and if i wanted to flip the script then i would just literally just do that um i would i would put my my best receiver in this left side slot um and then just put another receiver in the right side so this is a little um audible trick that you can really use and take advantage of in this empty empty wide flex scheme because it forces your opponent to have to make an additional adjustment he has to turn his auto flip off he has to personally flip the play to whichever side he needs to go, and you're just going to put him in a lot of a, a lot of trouble um, because there's just going to be so many things flying around. They're going to have a hard time uh, being able to stop your offense. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get the full empty wide, empty um, empty uh, five wide Steeler scheme, then you can just text me. My number is two zero eight two one eight six nine zero zero. Just text the word Madden uh, to me, and I'll shoot you the link to the playlist. Or if you just want to sign up for the text message membership, in the text message membership, we release free offenses and defenses every single week to people who are a part of it, to the members of that. And how you sign up for it is simple. You just text the word Madden to that number that I talked about. It's also in the description of this video. And we've released over 20 schemes in Madden 21 for free to those guys that have signed up for that. And if you want to get the free schemes, all the free schemes for Madden 21, as well as all of the future schemes that we're going to be doing in Madden 22, that's how you can get signed up for that playlist.